Hey guys, back with another collaboration with Mixed Media Girl, where we're going for a minimalist color style fluid painting series where we're using only black, white, plus one color. Our plus one today is teal. And I have this ready mixed pouring paint by Artist Loft that I've never tried yet. These super small bottles. Now it says turquoise, but I mean, I'm going for that. I paid a fortune for a little kit of these and I've seen a lot of people use them. Can't wait to try them out. Apparently they go very well. Now I'm just gonna paint around black and then white on the other side. And I'll be pouring in the middle. My goal is to do some puddle with effects here in the middle and have some negative black and white space on the sides. So I'll start with painting here. All right, so I decided to just do the black and not the white because it's, it's the black that's most important. It's to help cover the sides afterwards. And on the white, it doesn't really show that much. So I'm going to re-mix these to make sure I'm good. Just add a little mini bit of water. There. Okay, I hope I don't waste this. Okay, it's fairly thin, but it seems perfect to pour. Well, it's a good thing, right, since it's ready to pour. <laughs> So I want to do a, a wreck, a ring. I'm going to do Molly's wreck, a ring type of pour. I can already see a reaction between the white and the teal slash turquoise. When you have black and white, it helps if you don't put the black right after the white or the opposite and try and put color in between each. It's, uh, it'll help you, it'll give you a chance to not get, or to get less gray. That is enough black. That's just enough paint, basically. Ugh, that's enough, man. <clears throat> okay, I have some left over, yay. There, I'll finish with some white. Okay. Oh, damn. It's reacting a lot. I want a nice center, so I'm going to put some white in again there. Okay, so white all around. This is the white is artist loft on its own. I'll keep a little bit just in case I need more. Black. There is a lot happening in there. Okay, I'm going to do a mini wreck. I'm 
I'm a bit afraid here because I, I don't know. I find that it reacted a lot. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Oof, it's very liquid. That looks freaking horrible. Screw that. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this up. Wow, I did not like the the consistency of that. It was horrible. Probably you have to probably use um, the ready to pour paints all on their own. So I'm gonna puddle pour this. <laughs> I added some water in my white because it was uh, it was too thick. And you know what? I'm gonna go old school melody style and put my finger through. And start this over. That is way better. Okay, how about I'm just gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna blow on the paint a bit. It is reacting. I could see in the cup that it would react, but it wasn't working the other way I did it. You see, I sort of wanted to go like that, you know? Okay, yay, I'm liking it more like that, so I can continue on psh, like that way.
I am so dumb. I have like a zillion paint clothes that have paint on them. I have two drawers full of dirty paint clothes and I'm wearing a camisole that has no paint on it and I just ruined it. Oh yeah, loving it. Whoa, it creates cells like crazy, right? I think I'm gonna even it out, uh, not like even like that. But I'm gonna blow here too, just not as strong maybe, because I like it to curve in, but at the same time, I want it to match, you know? And it works better if I put some black. There we go. Well, that's looking pretty awesome. And I'll do the same thing here to even it out. Shit. Oh man, it's looking cool. <sighs> okay, I feel like I have to spread this one out a bit more and this one out a bit more. <clears throat> Yep, that's better. Oh man, it's so cool. If you're watching this, Molly, I love your wreck, but it didn't work this time. <laughs> I think it's the first time it didn't work. Jesus.
There we go. Um, yeah, I'm leaving it like that and I'm off to wash my shirt because there is no way I'm ruining, I'm ruining another cami. Back and this is about 30 minutes later and I cannot wait to see this one dry and standing up. It's going to be standing up, you guys. It does look much more blue in the camera than it does in reality. It looks much more turquoise slash teal. Whoa. I already knew that the big artist loft fluid art whatever bottles um, reacted, they create cells easily. And I had heard that the ready to pour ones did also create cells easily. So this is a mix of both. You can see the madness there. The madness. I think that's my favorite part of the painting. I sort of uh, left my phone that I like to film with with Jordan. <laughs> so I have my weirdo phone that it doesn't film the same. Loving that part there too. There's really a lot of different effects in this painting. Isn't that fascinating? Am I the only one? It looks like coral reef. It looks like coral. And fractals. And like the inside of a fish, like fish bones. And rocks and like, okay. Stay tuned for the dried result. I'm back you guys with the dried result and I'm taking advantage of this beautiful sunlight this morning. It's not up on my wall, it's on the, the edge of my couch, but I think this is the only way I'm able to capture it. Almost, almost true to its color. It's not though. It still looks much more blue on the camera. If you guys like uh, teal, believe me, it's teal. Here, I'm gonna go ugh, standing up. So this is how I wanna hang it, but I still think that it would be nice um, maybe on this side. Depends on your wall. But it dried exactly the same. And I'm really impressed by the ready to pour artist loft because of, you see that? See how glossy and like thick this paint is here? It's really, really interesting and beautiful. The colors are beautiful. So make sure you check out Mixed Media Girls teal painting. And I hope you guys like this. There's still red, metallics, purple coming up. If you have any other suggestions, feel free. Have a good one.